Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. Today I am doing something so exciting. I, I literally couldn't wait to show you this. So I might be rushing the video a little. Anyways, what you just saw was a 3D printer printing with a white PLA filament plastic and out of the blue an image appeared. Okay, staying serious for just a second here. Lithophanes was very popular two, three hundred years ago, and back then it was made using porcelain. Just like back in the days, it works by varying the thickness of the material so more or less light can pass through. Image? No image. Image? No image. Sure, you can do family pictures like we have done here. We are all standing by the Grand Canyon. An image I now have in a physical form, which is awesome. But why stop there? We got our favorite MJ, turned out slightly too thick, I will cover more about that later. I also, I also stumbled across a very nice image of Einstein. And a doggy, or a wolf, I'm not really sure. If you already do have a 3D printer, let me show you how you can make lithophanes very easily. And if you don't have a 3D printer but still want to make lithophanes from but still want to make lithophanes from one of your pictures, I will leave a useful link in the description below where you possibly can find people with 3D printers nearby. There is nothing I hate more than watching a 20 minute tutorial that might just as well be 2 minutes and I see no reason why I should make this a 20 minute tutorial. The process is fast, it's simple, you don't even have to download the software and most importantly it's free. So I say let's get on it. Here you have the address to the website, there is also a link in the description below. But basically you have the three tabs right here, go to images and choose files. I really like the lion head so that's what I'm gonna go for. Down here we have numerous different layouts to choose from. I really like the outer curve, I've gotten some great results from that one. So that's the one I recommend you start off with. But please do some experimentation with all of these and let me know how they turn out. Now click refresh and uh, the preview will update. Looks great. Up here we have settings, go to model settings. You do not have to change anything here, but if you do want to make the picture bigger, simply drag this slider to uh, the size you would like. Now go to image settings. One of the key settings you have to get right is go from negative image to positive image. You do not have to save anything, you just go to model and click refresh. Oh shit, we have to go back 30 seconds. I forgot to tell you one of the key settings to get right here is to print vertically. As you can see on the outer curve, that is already printing vertically, but if we go ahead and choose flat, and now you can see it's printing along the bed, and that's no good. You will have to rotate the image 90 degrees upwards, so it's always printing vertically. That's very important. Well, there we go. That's how easy it is, so go ahead and click download. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna roll back and just say that I think the CR10 has done such a good job. I've printed all my lithophanes with the CR10. And if you are new to the channel and haven't seen my CR10 review, I highly recommend you watch it because it's a printer that is really affordable and worth buying. So definitely check it out. I just wanted to put it out there if you are looking for one. So the settings you will see me use in Simplify 3D is the settings I've used to print all my lithophanes with the CR10. So here we go. We have a 100% infill, very important. And uh, you want to dial down the extrusion multiplier slightly, a uh, 0.4 millimeter extrusion width, and uh, retraction 7 millimeters. That's the perfect. That's the sweet spot right there. Retraction speed 30 millimeters a second. 0.2 millimeter layer height just yields the best results and uh, three perimeters additions go to skirt and you have to use the offset part uh, go to zero and then skirt outlines around 10 that's just to increase the bed adhesion so it doesn't lift off right temperature well 260 is a bit high let's go down to 205 uh, cooling on the second layer and uh, g-code nothing special 
uh, scripts, nothing special. The default printing speed, I'm printing a little bit slower just to get the extra detail. So 45 millimeters a second. And uh, that's pretty much it. So with these settings, uh, this lion head right here would take eight hours. Wow, okay, okay. Is, is this one of those cases where going bigger is better? I mean, now you know how to make a lithophane. Great, is, is that gonna be the end of the video? It can't be. Looking at these awesome yet pretty small pictures, surely going bigger must be better. Wait, how crazy are we talking about here? Oh, that's too big. <laughs> Yo, let's take it easy and just go back 170% to be on the safe side, right? 46 hours? I better have a lot of faith in the CR-10 then. Let's do this. I am stoked by how well it turned out. To be honest, I didn't think it would turn out that good, but the level of quality you can see is just unbelievable. Now you can put this close to a window or a nearby lamp and the image will magically appear. I would very much appreciate if you could take two seconds of your time and just go down and click the thumbs up. It tends to make the videos a little bit more popular, so it helps me out and is a great way to support my channel. That's basically it for today. I hope you will have an awesome day. Bye.